will rotated by angular velocity 2 omega next height of the mirror required next concept is height of the mirror required in different cases we'll discuss so in these two cases will be there height of the mirror required to see the full image of the man one more is height of the mirror required to see the full image of the wall behind for example i have just i have taken this as a room and let me take under that fan already mirror is there that is a mirror plane mirror i have taken a reflecting plane mirror now i am standing exactly here i want to see my full image in the mirror means what is the height of the mirror should be that is one type of question okay whenever i am standing uh, in the room what is the height of the mirror should be next one is whenever i am standing here and then i am uh, seeing the wall behind me this wall at that time i want to see the full height of the wall at that time what is the height required of the mirror that is one more case in this only we'll have again two cases whenever the man is standing in the middle of the room whenever he is standing in not in the middle of the room he is not in the middle he is standing somewhere at that time what is the height of the mirror required otherwise length of the mirror required so two cases only again one more concept will be there velocity in velocity also different cases will be there whenever the mirror is kept uh, fixed and then object is moving towards the mirror and then away from the mirror one is object is moving parallel to the mirror or anti parallel to the mirror this is one type of question another type of question is whenever the object is kept fixed uh, kept at rest and then mirror is moving mirror is moving either parallel or perpendicular at that time how the image will move what is the velocity of the image will be next case is whenever both are moving at that time what is the velocity of image these are the two concepts in the plane mirror after that we will start the spherical mirrors directly now in the height of the mirror you just take this as a best example that is a wall i have and that i have that mirror and then i am seeing myself in the mirror so i want to see my full image nothing but at that time what should be the length of the mirror that is one type of question another type of question is whenever i am standing here only and i am observing the wall behind me i want to see full height of the wall then what should be the length of the mirror i want to take there is two types of questions will be there so in this first of all height directly i will take there is no need to discuss about the derivations and all all the trigonometric derivations will be there those are the what are similar angles otherwise uh, dissimilar angles that and all will be there not necessary at all so directly i'll tell you the formulas final formulas easy to remember by the way whenever i'm standing exactly in the middle of the room this is a room i have taken here the mirror i have this is a mirror i have to the other wall this is a wall behind me and then i'm just st standing here exactly this is the length of the mirror i want to discuss about now this is the height of the wall this is the height of the person let me take height of the person is h now the person want to see his full image behind the mirror means what should be the length of the mirror here is just l is equals to h by 2 l is equals to h by 2 exactly whatever i am having the height in my height exactly i have to take half of the length of the mirror for example uh, my height is 5.3 feet so at that time i have to take 2.7 feet around so that at that time what i can do nothing but i can see my full image in the mirror so this is the height required l is equals to how much length of the mirror is equals to height of the person divided by 2 then next case is i said wall you want to see the full image of the wall now here what happening let me take the height of the wall is h here height of the person is not necessary at all but here person is exactly standing in the middle of the room x by 2 at that time he will see the entire room in the mirror obviously whenever i am standing here whenever i am standing here i am able to see this window back side where is that window are this window i guess so i am able to see window here exactly exactly which is that this one only this one this one this one i can able to see this uh, uh, what is that uh, window so that what happening nothing but i am able to see the wall behind me so i am able to see the wall behind me but not exactly the full height of the wall 
to see the full height of the wall and i have to stand exactly in the middle of the room and then i have to see the full uh, height of the wall nothing but that length of the mirror i have to take is l is equals to h by 3 it will at which case this is exactly exactly at the middle of the room exactly at the middle of the room if not at the middle of the room then what happens let's see not at middle of the room then what happens nothing but your formula should be x into h by l plus x what is this x and h and all we'll discuss now here i have taken the room of length l exactly total length of the room is l and then height of the room is how much nothing but h and then i just fixed my mirror here to the other wall i fixed my mirror and then i am standing here somewhere the person is standing here at what distance nothing but x distance from the mirror now whenever i want to see the image of this wall nothing but obviously i will see this chairs and then then benches and then this camera everything i'll see whatever the ceiling also i can see i can see even the floor also why because i'm covering the entire wall there so that what happens nothing but my room image will be there like this exactly so here even here also image of the person also will come obviously why because he is there in stay in front of the mirror only now i want to see this full image of this wall means the length of the mirror required is l is equals to x h by l plus x what is the x here distance between the mirror and person mirror and observer then next one is h is nothing but what height of the wall behind l is the length of the room and then x is the distance between the mirror and person again these are the four cases are possible these are the different formulas one is whenever the man wanted to see his full image at that time what is the mirror required l is equals to half of the height you just remember half of the height and why because here also h will be there here also h will be there you don't confuse between them so you just uh, consider that the man either will he will see the image of himself or image of the wall whenever he is seeing image of himself then length is equals to simply what is the formula half of his height the next one is whenever he is observing the wall behind at that time two cases will come whenever he is standing in the middle he is not standing in the middle if he is standing in the middle what is the formula we have l is equals to h by 3 what is the h here height of the wall not the person person is not necessary at all why because you are observing what here wall only you want the image of observer then you take the height of the observer you want the image of the wall then you take the height of the wall okay now that is about the short trick for this then here you have to take l is equals to length of the mirror is h by 3 where h is the height of the wall another case he is stand, not standing in the middle at that time you have the formula x h by l plus x where x is the distance between the mirror and observer and h is the height of the wall and then l is what length of the room nothing but you can say distance between the uh, wall and then mirror also you can say distance between the wall and person distance between the wall and room uh, wall and uh, what is that mirror i can say so this is about the length of the mirror required to see the full image of the wall whenever the person is not standing at the middle of the room clear these are the different cases in some more cases will be there we'll discuss by the problems only directly clear huh? right that height of the mirror required first case case 1 to see the full image of the person to see the full image of the person the minimum length of the mirror the minimum length of the mirror required is required is l is equals to h by 2 l is equals to h by 2 small l you have to write small l l is length of the mirror l is length of the mirror h is height of the person 
H E is height of the person. Next case, second case. To see the wall behind the person. To see the wall behind the person. To see the wall behind the person. In that first point. When the person is standing. When the person is standing. Exactly. Exactly at the middle of the room. When the person is standing exactly at the middle of the room. The length of the mirror required. The length of the mirror required. To see the. To see the. Wall behind completely. Wall behind completely is. L is equals to. Capital H by 3. L is equals to capital H by 3. The next line H is height of the wall behind. H is height of the wall behind. Next point in that second case only next point. If person is not standing at the middle of the room. If person is not standing at the middle of the room. Then length of the mirror required. To see the complete wall behind. To see the complete wall behind. L is equals to X capital H by capital L plus X. Right where, where X is distance between the observer and mirror, distance between the observer and mirror, capital H, height of the wall behind. Capital L, length of the room, length of the room. I can hit the Martha Driller. Boring. Everybody is sleeping almost. Any what the Fino? Idli. Patient break faster. Hmm? Can you say? Shamnur? How da? Ya ke Shamnur le mar tarai idli. Shamnur mane da le auru Shamnur do one mane ida aur ge. Chikku mane? Ali mar tarai. Number? Number S two. रो इल्ला वाइफ नंबर हम्म एट अ प्रॉब्लम अ मैन इज़ स्टैंडिंग इन अ रूम ऑफ़ लेंथ ट्वेंटी मीटर्स 
a man is standing in a room of length 20 meters and height 3 meters at a distance 5 meters from one wall at a distance 5 meters from one wall comma on the facing wall on the facing wall mirror is hanging mirror is hanging then find the minimum size of the mirror minimum size of the mirror in which in which man will be able to see man will be able to see complete wall behind him yes very good very good so one week one sala barbek nan jaldi problems barbek andre nimge zero point six meters is the correct answer question completed or not completed at least yeah, find the uh, minimum size of the mirror in which man will be able to see complete height of the wall behind him. That is the question. This is a mirror. Man is standing. Where he is standing exactly? 5 meters. Length of the room is how much they are giving? 20 meters. Height of the wall is 3 meters. This is what the question they have given. He want to see full image of the wall behind him. At that time, what should be the minimum length of the mirror? We know already formula. L is equal to what is the formula? X H by L plus X. Then what will get X is equal to 5, H is 3 and then L plus this one is 25. Then how much answer is? 0 0.6. This is by the formula only. I will explain you by the ray diagram also. You just understand that by the trigonometric uh, uh, triangles we will take. Now, he want to see the full image of the uh, wall nothing but which is the object here wall is the object wall is the object and then man is the observer so what you have to do nothing but always to draw the ray diagram first and foremost you have to take two or three rays are minimum rays required two or three so where the two rays you have to take nothing but exactly at the edges of the mirror you have to take two incident rays should be taken where exactly at the edges one more is in the middle obviously so here i want to see the full height of this uh, whatever the wall means this height of the wall is the object here from this object you have to take the two rays whatever i said two minimum rays are possible to the exactly edges of the mirror like this now man want to observe nothing but this reflector ray should uh, strike the man eye like this and then like this now he want to see the image nothing but he is seeing the image in this direction let me take here he is seeing the image now whenever you see this one i will just extend this rays here like this now if this is an angle theta means for the bigger triangle also same angle only for the smaller triangle also same angle only nothing but both are symmetric to each other let me take the length of the mirror is how much l now tan theta i want to take tan theta is equal to what you will take exactly opposite by adjacent only you will take so that is how much l by 5 is equals to i want to see the height of the wall height of the wall is how much here 3 is the height of the wall so that 3 divided by what is the distance there distance between the observer and then image is how much nothing but 5 plus 20 so that how much it will be 25 again same answer huh? yes sir 5 5 is and then this is 0 0.6 again that is by the ray diagram ray diagram is not at all necessary for you it will take little time so instead of that you just remember the formula that is very easy okay x h by l plus x then next problem A person I is, a person I is 
ಒಂದು ಐ ಅಲ್ಲ ಎರಡು ಐಸ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಿಕ್ಯಾಪ್ ರಾಜೇಶ್ವರಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಥರ ಒಂದು ಲೆಗ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಎರಡು ಲೆಗ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಎರಡು ಐಸ್ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಐ ಈಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಎ ಹೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಅ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಮಿರರ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಮಿರರ್ ದ ಬಾಟಮ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮಿರರ್ ದ ಬಾಟಮ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮಿರರ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಟ್ ಬಾಟಮ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮಿರರ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌ ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌ ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ದೆನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಸೀ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಿರರ್ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಸೀ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಿರರ್ for this you cannot uh, get any formula you have to follow this ray diagram method try that exactly whatever i done you just try in the same way only you'll get the answer there Shall I give the diagram at least? Yes, sir. Have you drawn these diagrams first? For that case, yes. Draw the diagrams. You have to draw the diagrams. You have to analyze how it will form. Listen, I'll give the diagram first. A person I is at what height they are saying? 1.5 meters height from the ground. Let me take, this is the ground I have taken. And then from there, a person I is at exactly 1.5 meters. This much of height is there. Now what he is doing, nothing but. Here what they are saying? He stands in front of a mirror. How much length of the mirror? 0.3 meters. and also that mirror bottom end is at what height 0.8 so that 0.8 plus 0.3 how much it will be 1.1 nothing but the mirror is just below the below the person's eye here yes this is 1.5 and then mirror height totally is how much here from the ground 1.1 only nothing but mirror is below the person here let me take like this this is a 0.3 meters length and then this height is how much obviously 0.8 is that correct so this is what the diagram you'll get and after that what they are asking 0.8 meters above the ground find the length of his image he will be able to see actually till now what i asked length of the mirror i asked now what i'm asking here i'm asking the length of the image the image cannot be formed completely it can be formed completely only but the person cannot observe completely so how much height he can observe that is what you have to find for example you only take your mirror and then you just uh, keep it here like this you keep then see the image how much image will be formed nothing but only half of your body like that only it will be formed so that is what uh, they are asking how much length of the body will come in the mi- image so let me take the image is formed here the image is exactly formed here not complete image obviously you'll get some length only 
so that this is the height of the image formed. Now you have to draw the ray diagram first. I said how to draw the ray diagram. You have to you have required how many two way, two rays you have to required, and then you have to draw till where edges of the mirror. So that edges of the mirror nothing but from the eye to the edges of the mirror. Two rays I have taken. Now this ray should be extended to the image obviously like this only I have just ex extended. Now whenever you take the points here, let me take A, B and then C, D. Let me take this is the I that is the observer O. So that for the triangle O, A, B or for the triangle O, C, D. Angle is same or different? Same angle. So that both are symmetric triangles. So at that time, what you can take nothing but I know already length of the mirror here. How much length is there? 0 0.3. Let me take this person is standing at the distance X. Then where the image will be formed? X only again. Why? Because the object distance is exactly equal to the image distance we will get. So that image also will be formed at the X distance only. Now by the symmetry of the triangles, tan theta of the triangles will be same for both. Then what I can say here, uh, height of the mirror is how much? 0 0.3 by adjacent is how much here? X is equals to height of the image I want to find that is CD divided by adjacent is how much? Now tell me. From the object only you have to take, from the observer only you have to take. From how, how much it is there? 2X. So only before I said, I have not taken the 20, I have taken how much? 25. Why? Because you have to take the observer to the image only. So that CD by 2x, x, x gets ca cancelled and then cd is equal to how much you will get? 0 0.6. He can see the 0 0.6 height of the image, 0 0.6 meter height of the image. Clear? Huh? Let me explain again. A person is standing in front of a mirror, how much height of the person, obviously eye, eye height nothing but approximately height of the person only, how much that is? 1.5 meters. So his eye is present at 1.5 meters height and also he is having a plane mirror in front of him. How much length of the plane mirror? Nothing but 0 0.3 meters. The bottom end of the plane mirror is at what height? 0 0.8 meters. Now you have to check obviously you should not draw the mirror here. You have to draw the mirror here only. For example, this phone is a mirror. I am standing here, my height is 1.5 meters, let us consider. Now what I am doing nothing but, I am just keeping the mirror. Mirror height is how much they are saying? 0 0.3 meters. It is there at what height? 0 0.8 meters. Total height is how much? 1.5. In that 0 0.8 plus 0 0.3, how much? 1.1. Nothing but below my eye only it is there. So that I kept here. At some distance, let me take x distance. I want to see my image in that nothing but, so I have to take the object distance is equal to exactly image distance. Now for that you have to take by the symmetry of the triangles, from the observer you have to draw the two rays to the edges of the mirror already I said, so from there only you have to continue the image also. Now whenever you see the triangles OAB and then triangles OCD both are having same angle only theta. Now tan theta is equals to for this a b opposite is 0 0.3 i don't know the object distance so only i taking uh, i'm taking it as x now 0 0.3 by x opposite by adjacent that is equals to again for the triangle ocd see this this is the triangle this is a triangle this is the opposite this is the adjacent so opposite is how much here cd adjacent is how much here od i can say otherwise i can say 2x so that that is a 2x distance I have taken so that cd is equal to how much 0 0.6 correct huh? you understand right so that here you have to write the triangle oab and then triangle ocd are similar clear I shall explain again you understood right everything copy that Actually based on that formulas, whatever I said, three fixed formulas, those are only enough. This is more for that. 
uh, very rare questions will come from the plane mineral and spherical mineral. I said already how the weightage will be there in the ray optics. So that this is very rare cases, but you have to mainly try to draw the ray diagram. From that only you will get the triangles and then you will get the uh, final answer also. Symmetric you have to take. The next one is velocity of image in different cases. Velocity of image. Practically also you just uh, by the assumption only you can get the answers for this. Okay, except one case, last case will be there, that is different. In all the different cases, you will get the answers by just assumption only. I said here, mirror is fixed, mirror is not moving anywhere. And now what I am taking nothing but I am taking the object here, I am taking the image here. Obviously, object distance is equal to image distance will take. By just taking the object distance equals to image distance and by taking the differentiation, you will get the answer here. Otherwise, you can directly get by uh, get the answer by the uh, relative velocity formulas. Otherwise, by just assumption only, you can get the answer. Everybody can get the answer for this. Now, here, mirror is fixed. Now, the mirror is fixed and then you just assume, do not calculate anything, do not assume any formulas and all. Just assume the object and then image cases practically. Whenever you might be walking in the shopping malls and all, what happens at that time, you just observe. Now, here object is there. Object is moving parallel to the mirror. This is a parallel to the mirror. This is a velocity of object. Then, what is the velocity of image? In which direction? See that? I have the mirror here. I am taking this marker only. This is as object. And then I am moving this object like this in the upward direction. Then where the image will move? Just assume, just assume normally only. Otherwise I can show you by this only, camera only I can show you. That is also like a image on mirror only. So, so this is a mirror. Hello, hi everybody. <laughs> so this is a mirror I have taken. Everybody able to see that? Yes. So, this is a mirror I have taken. Now, this is an object I have taken, very bigger object. I will take the smaller object. Yes. This is an object I have taken. Now, this is a mirror I have. Now, what I am doing nothing but. <laughs> what I am doing here is, I am just moving the object in the upward direction. Where the image is moving? Same direction, huh? Yes. This is the first case finished. Okay. Then second case, whenever the object is moving perpendicular to the mirror direction, nothing but object is moving in this direction, where the image is moving? Observe properly, towards, towards the object only, right? Nothing but in which direction? Opposite direction, clear? This is the velocity of object, then velocity of image is equal to what? Minus velocity of the object, clear? Now this is about the second case. Now third case is, Whenever the object is kept at rest and then mirror is moving in the upward direction or downward direction. What is the image formation? See that? See that? Just observe carefully. I am just doing it slowly. Just I kept the object rest and then I am moving the mirror. What happening to the image? Whenever the image is there in I mean object is there in front of the mirror then what you are able to see nothing but image at the same place correct i have just kept it like this and then you are able to see the image at the same place now whenever i move the upward direction you don't take the uh, non inertial frame you don't go to the mechanics much okay <laughs> just be in the ray optics not at all necessary so you just take it as a object is fixed and then uh, mirror is moving Mirror is moving either upwards or downward direction. What happening? Nothing but image distance is same only. Why? Because I kept the object at same. You are able to understand that. If you are not understand also, I will prove by the relative velocity formula. Then after that, now this case is different. What is that means? Whenever I kept the object, uh, observe that properly. Whenever the, I kept the object fixed and then I am moving in front of the, I am moving the mirror in front of the object. Then what happens? Nothing but the velocity of the image is double the velocity of mirror. Observe that carefully. So, this is the marker I have, marker cap I have. 
now what i am doing nothing but i am just moving the mirror here whenever i move the mirror you can see that it is moving the image is moving with more speed at least you cannot see the double but you can see more speed obviously so that see that i am just moving like this but my image is moving very fast so what is the meaning of that nothing but whenever the mirror is moving in front of the object perpendicular at that time image will move double the velocity of the mirror these are the four different cases that's enough that is finished velocity of the image is uh, uh, will have in four cases one is whenever the mirror is kept an object is moving parallel to the mirror at that time what happens obviously image also will move parallelly only uh, whenever you might be seen in the shopping malls you are just walking in front of the mirror like this then obviously your image also will move in the same direction only with the same velocity that is about the velocity of image velocity of the image also will be there in the same direction with the same velocity only so that vi is equals to exactly how much vo only clear velocity of the image is equals to velocity of object in the same direction now in the second case is again the mirror is fixed the vm is equals to zero only then what happening at the mirror object is moving in the perpendicular direction to the mirror so that this is the v object in perpendicular direction then what happens everybody know that already the object distance is equals to exactly image distance here object is distance is decreasing nothing but image distance also decreases only so that here image will be there here initially now it will move in the opposite direction velocity of image in the perpendicular direction but in which direction opposite direction so what i can write here velocity of the image is equals to minus velocity of the object everybody is understanding right then next third case is now object is at fixed object is fixed now mirror has to move so mirror has to move means for example first of all i have taken the mirror here and then object is fixed vo is equal to how much obviously zero now here object is there means obviously image will be formed here then velocity of the image is how much you have to find for that in this two cases are possible uh, whenever the mirror is moving parallel to its direction mirror is moving parallel to its direction this is the vm at that time what happens nothing but if the object is rest means obviously image also what here rest only so that velocity of the image is equals to velocity of object how much that is zero whenever the mirror is moving like this for example you are standing here only in front of you you are moving the mirror in this direction in this direction whenever you move here you can see your face whenever you move here whenever you can see your face and then whenever you are just moving above you cannot see it what is the reason because image also fixed only there clear so that velocity of object is equals to velocity of image that is equals to how much zero next fourth case is whenever the object is at rest object is at rest that is vo is equals to how much zero now where the mirror is moving perpendicular direction either towards the object or away from the object vm then initially image was there here now what is the velocity of image i said vi is equals to double the velocity of mirror okay it will be more only obviously how many times nothing but vi is equals to two times of vm whenever the mirror is coming in this direction we a mirror is coming in which direction negative x axis at that time where the image will come image also will come in the same direction both on, so only both are having the same sign here otherwise it will have opposite sign now here how the velocity of image is zero let us consider first now velocity of object with respect to the mirror velocity of object with respect to the mirror is equals to velocity of image with respect to mirror in which direction we are finding here parallel direction so here velocity of object with respect to mirror vom is equals to what is the formula vo minus vm is equals to velocity of the image with respect to the mirror is vi minus vm minus vm minus vm gets cancel vo is equals to exactly vi by the distances and then differentiation method for example if i say the length of the person is having l nothing but distance of the person from the mirror is l whenever the image the mirror is moving at x distance then what is the distance remaining here l minus x whenever the object is at l minus x means 
Image also should be there at what distance? L minus X only. By just differentiating them, you will get again same answer. Velocity of image is equal to how much? 2 times of velocity of the mirror. Clear? You understand right? All the cases. First case is whenever the mirror is fixed. Object is either moving parallel or perpendicular. Parallel nothing but uh, in which direction? Upwards or downwards? Perpendicular nothing but towards or away from the mirror. Now, whenever the object is moving above or below direction, at that time what happens means image also will move above or below direction in the same sign only, same direction only and same velocity only obviously. So that what I can write velocity of the image is equals to velocity of object. Next one is whenever the mirror is fixed again, but what happening here? Object is moving in which direction? Perpendicular to the mirror. At that time, I am moving in front of the mirror, towards the mirror. Then what happens? My image also moves towards me only. Towards me, nothing but in which direction? Opposite direction. So, only the velocity of image is equal to minus velocity of object. I am running, image also will run. I am just walking, image also will walk. I am standing, then image also will stand. Same velocity only, nothing is changing. In next case is, object is fixed. Object is not moving anywhere, but the mirror is moving here. Mirror is moving in the parallel direction to its length. At that time what happens nothing but object and then image will be fixed only. They will not move anywhere. Both will have the same velocity. Then whenever the mirror is moving perpendicular to the direction of the length. At that time what happens nothing but image will move with what velocity? Two times of the velocity of the mirror. Clear that might be either towards or away. Both, are di both the cases are same only. Clear? Huh? These are the different cases possible in the velocity of the mirror. Write that. Velocity of image. I'm sorry. First case. Mirror is fixed. Mirror is fixed. And object is, and object is moving parallel to the mirror. Object is moving parallel to the mirror. Copy everything here. Here in all the cases I said one is fixed another is moving. Whenever both are moving at that time what happens we will discuss. And also I said only in the parallel direction or perpendicular direction. If the object is moving in the slantly in the plane at that time what happens we will discuss. Okay, na? Finish it fast. Where is Girish? Bandila. Balagina Bandila.
फिनिश ना नेक्स्ट केस इफ बोथ ऑब्जेक्ट एंड इमेज आर मूविंग इफ बोथ ऑब्जेक्ट एंड इमेज आर मूविंग डायरेक्टली विल सॉल्व बाय द प्रॉब्लम ओनली इफ बोथ ऑब्जेक्ट एंड इमेज आर मूविंग Try to get the answer. When object and object and mirror are moving, when object and mirror are moving with velocities five meters per second. and 1 meter per second towards each other towards each other then find the velocity of image and its direction 7 meter in which direction very good hmm mirror side negative minus 7 meter per second obviously टूवर्ड्स द मिरर अरे नगेटिव अल ही आबजेक्ट पॉजिटिव तक इमेज विल बी इन दैगटिव ओनली अर्थ आयता आबजेक्ट डैरेक्षन आरक्षन होता है इमेज विल कम इन दपोजिट डैरे मैनस् सेवन मीटर पर् सैकेंड इज कट आंसर मैनस् सेवन प्लस प्लस अरे मत इमेज आप पक हो बट आबजेक्ट वित् रेस्पेक्ट द मिरर इज ईक्वल टू मैनस इमेज वित् रेस्पेक्ट द मिरर मैनस सेवन मीटर पर् सैकेंड इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओनली बट देर यू हाव टू पासिबिटी इन विच डैरे इंपारटेट हलो Minus seven meter per second is the correct answer. You got that? How many of you got seven at least? It's very good. Very less. Solve that. You can get that by the relative velocity formulas only. Mirror and object are approaching each other. Approaching each other, nothing but what happens? Velocities gets added. Shall I see that here velocity of the mirror is given as how much one meter per second? Observe is given as how much five meter per second. And now you have to find out the velocity of image. Whenever you know already, if uh, I am the observer here, mirror is there. With respect to the mirror, I am moving along the positive x-axis. With respect to the mirror, image will move in which direction? Negative x-axis. Now, the mirror both are moving opposite to each other, so that the velocity of object with respect to the mirror is equals to minus velocity of the image with respect to the mirror. Whoever did not take in this minus, they will get the answer as plus seven. That is also correct only, but the direction is important here. I said that here this is the mirror. Whenever I am standing towards the mirror and then I am moving towards the mirror, at that time what happens? Obviously, image also will move towards me only. Nothing but in which direction? Opposite direction. So velocity of object with respect to the mirror is equals to minus velocity of image with respect to the mirror. Now velocity of object with respect to the mirror, v o minus v m. Already you know the formula. That is equals to minus of v i minus v m. Now the directions are important. Here v o object is moving in which direction? Positive x axis. So that what you have to take five minus mirror is moving in which direction? Opposite direction, negative x-axis. So that what you have to take minus one. Clear? That is important. Otherwise, directly both are approaching each other. Approaching nothing but what happens? Velocities gets added. So that you can take directly five plus one six. Clear? That is equals to minus of velocity of image. Velocity of image. I don't know. That is what I have to find. I don't know even the directions also. So that v i I have taken minus velocity of the mirror is obviously how much again minus one only. 
this is what you will get here 6 and then here minus 6 will come and then vi plus 1 will come then vi is equal to how much obviously minus 7 meter per second magnitude is important already direction you know why because you know already our uh, image will move exactly opposite to the object so that vi is equal to minus 7 meter per second clear huh? so here mainly in all the cases by just uh, taking the shortcuts only we have solved everything but in that cases one was fixed and another is moving now in this case what happening nothing but both are moving at that time what happens so here both are approaching each other or they might be receding each other or they might be moving in the same direction here nothing will change just the just the signs will change that's it okay both are moving in the same direction what will you get exactly vo minus vm both are approaching towards each other vo plus vm both are receding each other at that time also vo plus vm only i said whenever they are moving either approaching or moving away from each other at that time what happens nothing but velocities gets added only so here vom is equals to minus vim why what is the vom nothing but velocity of object with respect to the mirror is equals to velocity of image with respect to the mirror but in which direction opposite direction why because whenever the object is moving towards the mirror image also will move towards the mirror only so towards nothing but in opposite direction so only minus vim vom is vo minus vm vim is vi minus vm but here mirror is moving along the negative x axis so only i have taken minus of minus 1 here also minus of minus 1 then velocity of the image is equal to obviously how much minus 7 meter per second minus 7 nothing but in which direction opposite direction of the object velocity or towards the mirror anything we can say copy that next case is whenever the object is moving in the plane or mirror is moving in the plane That is the question. Do in two different cases. That will be very easy. Parallelly separately and then perpendicularly separately you do. Object velocity is given in two directions. You have to find out the velocity vector of the image. Separately you do. Parallelly you tell me the answer. Perpendicularly you tell me the answer. Parallel? Mm. We take separately both cases parallel and then perpendicular. Get the answer. Parallel, how much you got? Pa for parallel, you should not take this time this much time, you have to take only one second for that. How much? Five meter per second only. Seven? Seven? Seventy. Seven zero. Yes, correct. Minus or plus? Or? Minus. Minus. Very good. See that parallelly is a, which case here? Parallelly is the first case and then perpendicularly is the fifth case. That's it. First case and then fifth case. I think your answer is minus 70 i cap plus 5 j cap. Correct? Huh? Minus 70 i cap plus 5 j cap. How many have you got that answer? Yes, very good. Boys, 
Boy Samin, have you got three members? Okay, okay, very good. Remaining people, do it separately. See that parallelly will do. Parallelly will do first. In parallel direction, whenever you are doing the parallel direction, at that time you just uh, uh, make it as uh, absent in the perpendicular direction. Perpendicular direction is not at all there. Why? Because we are solving in x and y axis separately like projectile motion. While solving about the x, we have taken all the equations in x direction only. Why? Because I said already x axis is independent of y axis. You have to take. So that parallelly is separate and then perpendicularly is separate. In parallel direction, my velocity of the object in parallel direction is how much obviously? Parallelly how much? That is 5 meter per second. Velocity of the mirror in parallel direction is how much? The mirror is moving in which direction only? Perpendicular direction. But parallel direction how much velocity is there? Zero. Nothing but which case that is? First case. Velocity of the object is there, mirror is zero. Then what happens? Our velocity of the image is exactly equal to how much? Velocity of object. That is velocity of the image is how much exactly? 5 meter per second in the same direction only. Finished. First one is finished. The next case is perpendicular direction. At that time, velocity of the object perpendicularly, how much that is? 10 meter per second. Velocity of the mirror perpendicularly, how much that is? 30 meter per second. And also, here object is moving in which direction? Positive x axis. Mirror is moving in which direction? Negative x axis. So that what you have to take? Minus 30 meter per second. Now, my image will become like this. Here this is 30 meter per second and then object is moving with 10 meter per second. So obviously which case this is? Fifth case. Same or different? Same only again. So now velocity of object with respect to the mirror is equal to minus velocity of the image with respect to the mirror. So VO minus VM is equal to minus of VI minus VM. VO is how much here? 10 minus of minus 30. That is equals to minus VI I have to get to know minus VM is equals to how much? Minus 30. Then what will get here? VI is equals to 70 na? Minus 70 perpendicular. VI perpendicular is minus 70. Now total velocity of the image vector is equals to what I can say parallel plus perpendicular. Parallel nothing but in which direction? Along the Y axis. So that what I can say? 5 j cap and then along the x axis how much minus 70 i cap this is the total velocity of velocity vector of the image parallelly separate and then perpendicularly separate first case and then fifth case yes sir we have finished almost PhD in plane mirror. So next we will do the spherical mirror. In that I will not do PhD. That is not much easy. Go for lunch. One o'clock only. I am dying for the hour. I am going to go for the hour.